Uh, let's see what it does up against a, a, a rock wall. Uh, oh, yeah! Are you kidding me? It just went straight up a freaking rock wall! What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight yet again, yet again. We are back on Satisfactory, April 30th, kind of later at night, ladies and gentlemen. There's a brand new update to the game, and we're going to go over quite a bit of that today. In the upper left-hand corner of the screen, you can probably see it says experimental build with that little pretty little ribbon. You can't actually access the new update unless you play the experimental build. To do that, you need to either go into your Epics, uh, your Epics Games app and then click on the experimental mode. But when you download it, you should get an actual secondary um, like icon on your desktop. You should be able to open it that way. That's the only way you can do it. Make sure that you back up everything just in case something gets screwed up. Okay, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the bug fixes and we're gonna, or not the bug fixes, but as much of the update as I can that's not boring and that I can go over within a regular episode. And we're gonna make this fast because I have to pee. Um, okay, so starting off, oh, and by the way, if we have any extra time, I'm going to build the new vehicle the dune buggy okay okay just if we have any extra time so here we go starting off bug fixes there has been lots of bug fixes one of the biggest one is you remember how when you pulled out conveyor belt poles um with the conveyor belt attached to it they would get the too steep um version or too steep error message when you tried to put it on the seam of two foundations they supposedly had fixed that i haven't truly really tried it out yet but supposedly they fixed that other than that the rest of the bug fixes really don't matter <laughs> they are bug fixes and that's cool there's too many to go over on top of that there's been some optimizations in the game optimizations basically meaning they have removed some of the extra processing and changed a couple of different things. I'm not going to go into details over that, but it's supposed to bring down lag. And honestly, the game has been running a lot smoother since then for me. Every now and then, before these changes were made, you used to get these little jitters where the game would actually slow down. You don't get that anymore. However, it still does lag a little bit. When it does lag, you get more of a pop or a snap um, or a lag spike, I guess you could say. So there is a difference, but it, it feels like it runs a lot more smoothly. Okay, there's also been some research item cost changes. Uh, basically, stuff like not Caterium, uh, like alternate, um, some alternate recipe co uh, changes costs to open up in the milestone, open them in the milestones areas of the hub. They've been changed a little bit. Some of the milestones to actually open the milestones have been changed and stuff like that. Um, for like alternate recipes, this heavy modular frame one has been done that used to take rubber and plastic. Okay, but we didn't have rubber and plastic at that time and now it takes concrete um, encased industrial beams as well as module frames. So some of those costs have been changed. Some of the cost to craft stuff has been changed. Uh, stuff like the jetpack cost has been changed as well. Uh, so that's been changed a little bit. But it, honestly, they're, they're, they're so minute that really it's not really mentioning exactly each one that's been done. Uh, on top of that, speaking of alternate recipes, there has been a lot more alternate recipes that have been added to the game. Okay. On top of that, they've also made it so you cannot craft alternate recipe uh, recipes in the crafter over here. You cannot craft alternate recipes over here anymore, okay? Most importantly, over here in the MAM for the alternate recipes, you remember how when you used to do your research for your hard drives and it would pop up with three different things and sometimes those three different recipes were similar or exactly the same? They've made it so that no longer happens. You'll have three completely different recipes, okay? So that's super, super, super cool and I'm super happy about that. There's also been some various map changes. For example, oil slicks. Some of the oil slicks or the oil nodes have been moved. I've noticed that power slugs have been also added to the game. There's also been crash sites that have been added to the game, etc., etc. Most of them are fairly small, but I think the biggest one is the oil slicks that have been moved. Um, and I believe also stuff like, you remember those little spider dudes up there that we killed? Um, they actually drop... Uh, organics now 
where they didn't before. So small stuff like that's been added. It's made it a lot better. I'm liking it. I'm happy with it, but there's just too much really to mention. Um, now let's talk about the actual physical stuff that you can really see. On the top of the screen, uh, on the comp uh, on the compass what you can see now is you can see different icons now if you actually take that middle little dot and you slide it over one of your icons you actually get a pop-up of the name of the icon now as you can see vehicles are circles and if I turn around they now have a house which is the hub which was there before but they used to have where did it go Oh, then they've also got a space elevator on there, and those are diamonds now. So they've changed that a little bit more, and on top of that, when you do a scan, your scans will show on the top. Your uh, your ores and stuff will show on the top of the compass and not below it anymore, okay? So that's pretty cool. I like the idea of actually having the text come up because that helps out quite a bit if you don't know what the icon is. Okay, so what else? Storage containers. The MK2 storage has now been renamed to the industrial storage, and this is it right here. Looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Usually this actually looks like two singles stacked on top of each other, but it's actually a industrial storage. It's, it's the MK2s, basically. As you can see, lots of, lots of inventory space. They've put two, an extra exit up top, and they've put an extra en entrance in the back. So you can load it twice as fast, you can unload it twice as fast, and most importantly, you can add it to a line of conveyor um, automation if you, if you prefer to do something like that. So that's definitely something cool. It gives you a little bit more options and stuff like that. Okay, inventory squares. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, we have inventory squares. This basically is your hands. You can now put pretty much all of your items that are important. I'm gonna be taking that one off. But all of your items that are important on your hands so you don't actually freaking lose them or you don't go out into the wild and then realize, oh, I forgot something. Plus, they don't take up inventory space over here, which is super cool. To uh, cycle through them, just use your middle mouse button. And as you can see, you can cycle through them. They, however, for you, they still haven't put any buttons in the game to allow us just to put these things away. Unless I'm missing something, if I have put, tell me what it is in the description below. But you still have to kind of come in here and take it off to get free hands. And you're probably thinking, well, now that you've got an empty spot, well, maybe you could just go cycle to the empty spot. No, because once you start cycling, it just goes through everything and it just... It only cycles through the ones that are actually still on your hands. It doesn't cycle to an empty an empty slot. So you actually have to cycle the one that you want to take off. And then... No, stop doing that, you knucklehead. Why are you... Just... You here. You here. Thank you. you. Cycle the one that you want to take off and then actually take it off to get your hands. Devs, if you're watching this, please... Just give us a button to, to put stuff away. It's, it's really not that, that bad. Speaking of hands, rebar gun. The rebar gun damage has been, air quotes, adjusted. They didn't say if it's been adjusted higher or lower, but it has been adjusted, just so you know. In my opinion, the rebar gun's still gonna suck because of its low reload time, but still, eh, hopefully it's a one or two shot thing now, but I highly doubt that it is. Uh, power poles are have been changed up a little bit. Let's see if I can actually go into here. It'll probably be a little better for you, for you to see. Power poles, these ones can hold up to, to four, okay? But the new power poles, like the MK2 power poles, I believe, they used to be, what is it, MK2, MK3s? The power poles have been upped to hold more. I believe the top power pole right now can hold up to eight power lines. And then there's one below it. I think that's the MK4 and the MK3. I don't I don't know about the power poles. I, I wish they would have upped this, these ones. They didn't up the power poles for these. This still only hold four. And this is, I believe, the MK1. So I believe the MK2 holds like five or six. And then the next one up holds eight. So they've supposedly been raised up. But I haven't really seen it yet because I haven't opened them yet. Now let's get to the big stuff, okay? The quartz or and yes, we are going to go over the vertical conveyors, for, so 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 stick around, okay? But quartz and sulfur, do I have any? Yes, I have quartz and sulfur. Do I have any sulfur? Yes, I have sulfur. Sulfur and quartz now have recipes that are added to them, okay? To open up the quartz and the sulfur recipes, all you have to do is throw the quartz or the sulfur in your MAM and then scan it, and that'll open it up in 
uh, that'll open up in your hub milestones over here as you can see I believe four is this one right here this is your sulfur which opens up the explosives and it opens up um, one arm equipment slot okay meaning you have more of these that you can open up okay so it opens up one of those why does it always start at the beginning again another five inventory spots gunpowder the noblesk the noblest or the noblest detonator the noblesk and the sulfur scanner on top of that for the quartz you open up the explorer node now this one will open up a map quartz crystal crystallized oster o crystal oscillator the explorer which is a brand new vehicle that if we have time to we're going to go over today and then the raw quartz scanner as well now the crystal oscillator is actually special because once you build one of these if you go over here into the mam you can actually scan it and when you're done scanning it you'll open up another milestone that you can open up in the hub that is the the radial tower now what good is the radial tower well basically the radio tower is for your map wait a minute map you said yes I said map so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up the Explorer right here and I'm gonna show you a little bit about the map I'm just gonna show you the map okay so Explorer let's go ahead and open it up real quick here 15 beacons and this and one of these and we should be open and ready to go okay so let me show you about the map wait she's probably gonna talk I'm just gonna hit skip so the map is really cool you hit Z as in Z and there's your map right there and you can use your uh, scroll mouse scroll to zoom in and out which is super cool you can see your vehicles and where they're at and basically as you travel around you unlock you uncover different parts of the map okay now that's what's cool about the um, the oscillator when you scan the oscillator it opens up a radio tower and that radio tower that you, you that you open up through your milestones you you open that up you build it what it can do is it as over time basically as you after you put it down you build one you put it down over time your sight from that will expand on your map and the higher you put it up the further it expands so you're gonna want to open this up you're gonna want to get the crystal eyes the crystal oscillator you want to scan it and then you're gonna want to build the radio tower and put that on top of a freaking high mountain okay super cool super awesome very 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 helpful when it comes down to a map now the same thing is kind of to can be said about the noblesk the noblesk you can actually build it and then you can scan it Okay, so once you build that, once you open it up and once you scan it, here's your noblesk right there. Once you scan it and you have to have five, by the way, the crystal oscillator, you have to have 10 of those. So be prepared. When you find a crystal node, make sure you get a lot of crystals from it because you're going to need 10 oscillators and they take a lot of crystal. For the noblesk, you need five of those. Basically, the noblesk is an, a, a remote detonator. Um, and that's basically all it is. It's just, you remember those those cracked rocks that you see around in the game um, that sometimes hide nodes or they sometimes hide power uh, power uh, power slugs and stuff like that you can now use the noblesk and the noblesk detonator to blow those up and to get what's underneath on top of that once you make the noblesk and you scan five of them you open up the rifle the in-game rifle and they'll have a clip with it that you can open up and then you have the rifle that you can open up and you've now got an in-game rifle which is very 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 cool okay so that's your sulfur and that's the two extra scannables you can make with that uh, the gunpowder and all of that stuff is actually made over here um, in the equipment workshop so workshop so all of your gun stuff all of your cartridges all of your gunpowder and everything your noblesks they're all going to be made over here okay so that's pretty much it when it comes down to uh the um the quartz as well as the sulfur the explorer i'm super excited about the explorer uh because it's a doom buggy it's basically everything that you wanted in the other vehicles but we haven't gotten up to up to yet it's fast it's supposed to be nimble it's supposed to be balanced and it's supposed to be very very good with terrain okay uh so yeah that's it we gotta we gotta finally 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 we got a map and you can put beacons up you can see all your houses and all your beacons you can see where yourself is i don't know why they well i guess you 
you're supposed to see that probably see where your teammates are and everything else like that so super awesome i'm excited about that now let's talk about the vertical conveyors <sighs> this one's going to be a lot okay so there's m there's conveyor lift Conveyor lift MK2, conveyor lift MK3, and MK4, just like regular belts, okay? So let's go ahead and start talking about that. But in a second, I'm gonna wait until it's daytime so you can actually see what's going on because it's in the cover night and this sucks. Okay, it is early morning. Now, before we go over the vertical conveyors, I'm gonna tell you guys what. I'm gonna give you a complete, honest opinion of them. I don't think the devs will even see this video because I'm not a big enough YouTuber, but I'm gonna give you guys an honest opinion. And if the devs do see it, devs, just overall let me just say this thank you for the vertical conveyors thank you very much they're not perfect but they're great okay i'm just going to tell you guys that right now so we're going to go over the pros and the cons and i'm going to show you guys real quick i've already replaced all of the helixes that are in our base with vertical vertical conveyors there's one there there's two up there i've been messing with them i've been trying them out i've been playing with them just so i can give you guys a complete honest opinion about them and here goes to start off with this to start off with their the, where do i start off with this is how i start off here's how i start off with i'm gonna pull one out <laughs> i'm gonna whip it out uh, vertical conveyor very easy to put up this is it right here just click on it and then raise it to as high as you want and then come down and then click on it if you spin your mouse button while before you click it as you can see the the head will spin okay so that's what that's the way that you can kind of pick your direction of where you want it to go once you've done that you just go high and then or low and then spin it again and you can pick any direction that you want it to go now the cool thing about this is you can actually attach to other vertical or to your conveyor pole so if i put a pole out there i grab a vertical conveyor pole put that right there bada boom bada bang just like that you can connect to all of that stuff okay so that's really 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 cool and i like that feature and i'm glad they thought of it um the, they as you can see they look good they're very good looking and the cool thing is, is they've got an open design uh, let me show you a bigger one so you can see a little bit better but they've got an open design which i was afraid that they were going to do like a round just a round tube that when your product got to it then it you know it, you wouldn't be able to see the product move up but you can see it and they're very 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 stylish looking i think they look fantastic so nice open design you can see the materials they take up no space at all before we had a helix on here a helix will take up an entire foundation worth of, of space so the low space is super super nice because now you can really you can slide these things like right next to each other check this out you can slide if i could actually get up there you can actually slide them right next to each other boom boom and they can go right next to each other you can have multiple vertical conveyors right next to each other so that is super 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 cool so that's all the pros they work really really well let's talk about the cons okay so to start off with is the belt direction now devs if you're watching this which i don't think you are but if you are your belt direction i think we need some arrows uh, I think we need some arrows to let us know what the belt direction is uh, before we place it down We should just be able to hit the middle mouse button and change the arrow direction as well Now as you guys know when you stick out a regular conveyor belt um, You get depending on which direction you put the conveyor belt that determines which direction the conveyor belt goes right right Okay, you can't do that with these because you can't start them in the air and go down unless you you start them in the air and you've got a conveyor pole up there then you can't do that so you can't really choose which way the, the conveyor belt direction goes however i found a workaround for that and it goes like this first you want to start out by putting a conveyor pole down then you want to put another conveyor pole somewhere else or an existing one then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pick your belt and you want to decide which way your conveyor is going to go so if i want the conveyor belt so if i'm going to stick the conveyor back here and i want the conveyor to convey stuff downwards on the conveyor i'm going to want to take the belt and go from here to here and that'll make the arrows go that way so the conveyor when you put it up will actually make it so it goes down okay like that uh and if you actually come up here and i connect onto here you should be able to see the arrows are going that direction 
Okay, so that's one way to fix it. Now to change it so they're going up, because nine times out of ten it'll tell you, it'll ask, it'll make it so you're going down the conveyor. All you got to do is go the opposite direction, go from here to here, and that automatically tells your conveyor, okay, we are now going up the conveyor. And if you put, why do I keep changing it that that direction? Just no, here, here, here up spin around I want this direction thank you so now if we do it this way we started down here we come up that'll change your direction so we'll, so your arrow is pointing the opposite direction okay actually that one didn't do it right oh yeah it did because we went from here to here and then it's going up and going down if we switch it around we delete everything here and I start from here to here and then I put my conveyor belt on and we go ahead and do this. Now it's going the opposite direction. See, now it's going up and then coming down this way. You see, so that's a good way to really determine which way your conveyor, uh, your vertical conveyor belt's actually going to go, which is really cool. Now, the conveyor setup problems. First of all, this is not bad, but it's got a limited height. That's your limited height right there. That's as high as it can go. It's pretty high. But to do one that's twice as high, you have to do this. Then you take another one and you connect it to this side and then you go up from that other side. So you can go all directions. If I wanted to, I could take another one and I could go up here. Uh, I could go up here and I could spin the top. So it's going up here, yada, 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 like that. And they're going all directions. That doesn't look good. I'm sorry, devs. I love you and all. The conveyor belts work, but that doesn't look good. Um, when you get a chance, let's fix that, okay? Uh, it's kind of ugly, but the limited height can kind of suck. But it's not that bad. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, yeah. Last but not least, you see this right here? This belt comes out, comes down, and then comes over. Um, there's actually two. It looks nice. It looks nice and square. It looks nice and organized. However, I think they got a little bit of an animation problem. Stuff is actually supposed to be going down, but when it hits the conveyor, it's going up. So that needs to be fixed, but that's not a big deal because they work. That's all I care about. However, if you look behind it, you see those angled conveyors up there? That's kind of something I don't like. Um, and I was hoping that the vertical conveyors would fix that and they kind of do but there's they're kind of tricky to deal with And let me show you how they're tricky to deal with to start off with if I take a conveyor belt And I put it down and I say okay I want to start from this side right here and I want to go up there somewhere, right? I take this I put this up I spin it around and go excellent awesome spin spin Excellent awesome. It's working. You know, there we go uh Let's try that again. Let's try and make it straight. Awesome. That's cool. Oh, wait a minute. The next belt up is now confined. It can't be, it can't be, you know, conveyed up because you can't go through a conveyor because you're getting encroaching clearance and you can't take a conveyor and snap it onto there. You can snap, see, encroaching clearance. So in my opinion, I mean, that's that's understandable because you've got something that's in the way. So how do you fix this? Well, the only way that I figured out to fix it so far and to kind of change it up is to take your conveyors and go like this. Take your conveyor pole and go one, two, three, and go three back and go up. So at this point, we would have this conveyor coming here. Now we take another conveyor and go up this direction like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this out just so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. We go here and let's say I wanna go up one and I wanna turn it around and go this way. I'm like, okay, that works, you know, that's nice and straight. Then I go over here and I say, okay, let's do this one. And I just wanna go one above it, right? That should work, right? But it doesn't. Encroaching. And that's because it hits the top of this conveyor right here. So devs, if you're watching this, uh, let's kind of shorten that a little bit because that way we could actually stack these on top of each other like that, nice and neat. And they would go, it would, it would be a lot prettier. Is there a way around this? Yes, there is a way around this. There's a couple of ways. To start off with, you can take your, con your vertical conveyor and you can go up to where you want it to go and then you go one step up higher. At that point, you're gonna get a downward conveyor. Now, 
I understand that you're trying to avoid the angles up like that, but unfortunately that's what you can do. That'll fix it. You can get around it that way, but you still got that ugly angle. Okay. Um, there is another way to fix it. You can go like this. And instead of going above your previous conveyor, you can, or above where you want to go, you can actually go below it. So you take your conveyor out, you come up here and you go up like this. And instead of going up one, you can go up like this and you can get an angle on it like this. Okay. And then you can go ahead and take the next one and you can go up and you can go like this and your next one's going to be angled up here. No, it's got to go a little higher. No, that's too close. Did I not put it up high enough? Yeah, I needed to go one up further. So you can go one up further that way and you can start lower when you start your initial first one. So your middle one's going to be straight, your bottom one's going to be angled, and then your next one's going to be angled down. Okay, there is one more way that you can fix that, that you can get around it, and that has doesn't have to do with height, but it has to do with distance. Instead of going... Let's see, where's, where's there? There we go. Instead of going one, two, three, and putting it down on the three, you go four, and you put it down on the fifth one back. Okay? Once you put it on the fifth one back, you should be able to go like this. Let me see if I can get a conveyor out here. We go here, we go up one, spin it around like this go up at an angle and then back here because you're so far back you can actually go right above your previous one see it won't go straight but it should go at an angle you see how that's got a little bit tighter of an angle and that's be just because i moved my conveyor belt pole backwards so there's some ways that you can kind of deal with it but devs honestly i think it would be easier if we just fix it and you know lower the head of this just a little bit and then we can get some nice straight lines all the way across there and we don't have to deal with those angles anymore it's an aesthetic thing yes i know it works yes i know but it's still something that kind of needs to be eh, maybe looked at maybe adjusted a little bit and i don't think it would be that hard to really adjust the the build of the, the the conveyor so that's your vertical conveyors that's my honest opinion overall i absolutely love them to death i think they're amazing and i'm super excited that they're here i promised you guys if we have a little bit of time we will build the explorer we are building the explorer there's your explorer right there we're gonna go drive around in this bad boy nope i wanted to open up the workbench uh we need a little bit of fuel there's a little bit of fuel let's jump in and let's try this thing out Oh, and it sounds good. Oh, and it's squirrely. Oh, it's squirrely. Oh, it is squirrely all over the place. Let's see how fast we get over to our oil slick. Oh. <laughs> this thing is nice. It's actually pretty stable when it comes down to, to jumps and when it comes down to, like, terrain and stuff like that, it feels like. Let's see what it's like going around this corner. The tractor is really stable around this. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look at the terrain. It's almost over, able to go over the rock. Oh, baby. Oh, there's an exploding rock right there. Let's see it jump. Okay, it looks a little bit funny with the wheels coming down like that. And it feels like when it's up in the air and the wheels come down like that, it loses a little bit of its stability. Maybe we should make it so they don't come so close together when it's in the air. It makes it a little top heavy, but it is really, really cool looking. It is a lot of fun to drive. I mean, it's squirrely. If I hit the brakes, I can drift with it a little bit, it looks like. Left click is the honker. How's the clearance in water? The tractor can make it through here. Will this make it through here without me having to... Yeah, it does. It's still got a pretty decent clearance. Oh, we've got a little bit of lag spikes here. Uh, can we wreck with it? Boom, baby. Oh, yeah, we're probably going over on this one. No, look at that. It is actually really stable. When it comes down to the terrain, it doesn't have any problem really climbing anything. Uh, let's see what it does up against a, a, a rock wall. Uh, whoa! Yeah! Are you kidding me? It just went straight up a freaking rock wall! Oh my god, this thing is awesome! Oh, this thing is so sick! I'm just loving the jumps, to be completely honest with you. That's... I can't believe I just basically went up a rock wall. Can I... I don't think I could go any higher. I mean, can I hit a rock wall over here and go straight up this rock wall over here? 
I doubt it. No. Okay, so we got lucky on the other one. That was really, really cool. But I think the jumps are probably what people are going to like. And the speed, man. This thing is fast. Getting to different oil areas. Getting to, like, quartz areas, sulfur areas. This is probably the way to go, guys. And this is a lot of fun. It's very cool looking, too. Very cool looking. It's I, Can I roll it? I wonder if I could roll it in midair. No, it's pretty stable, to be completely honest with you guys. It really is cool looking. Anyway, that is the update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe. No matter what you do, just subscribe, okay? You won't be disappointed, I hope. I promise. No. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. We're going to take him home with us. We are going to take him home with us. Uh, yeah, so... If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. I really appreciate it. Keep gaming. Keep duty at midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And bye-bye.